The first and foremost parameter in semen analysis is the liquefaction time. Liquefaction of semen is the process that results in the conversion of freshly ejaculated semen from a thick, whitish, opaque, viscous, and gelatinous consistency to a watery, less viscous, translucent fluid with the help of proteolytic enzymes present in the seminal fluid. Liquefaction time is the time taken for this conversion process to occur. To perform this test, note down the time when the semen sample was collected. Observe the semen sample and note down the time when the liquefaction is complete. The normal liquefaction time for human semen is 10 to 30 minutes. Any period of time longer than 30 minutes is indicative of infection. Before estimating semen volume, the semen sample needs to go through the liquefaction period. Allow 10 to 30 minutes after collection for the sample to liquefy before measuring the volume. To determine the volume of the semen sample, tilt the sample container for a couple of minutes and then carefully pour the liquefied semen sample into a 10 ml graduated cylinder completely till the last drop. Wait a couple of minutes for the sample along the inner walls of the cylinder to settle down and note down the volume. Add a volume of 0.5 ml to the observed volume in order to compensate for the semen sample stuck to the walls of the collection container. An alternative method of measuring semen volume is to directly aspirate the liquefied semen sample into a 10 cc needleless syringe. After positioning the container in a slanting position for a couple of minutes prior to aspiration, make sure to aspirate completely till the last drop while at the same time taking extreme care not to aspirate any air bubbles. Note down the volume as before. Add a volume of 0.5 ml to the observed volume in order to compensate for the semen sample stuck to the walls of the collection container. A third method which is also considered the most accurate method according to some published papers is to directly weigh the sample in an analytical weighing scale. 1 gram is generally agreed to correspond to 1 ml of the sample. This method eliminates the loss in volume when transferring the sample from the collection container into the measuring receptacle. One important point to keep in mind when applying this method is to note down the weight of the empty container prior to sample collection. Approximately 2 to 5 ml is considered as the normal volume of semen per ejaculation. Low semen volume, also known as hypospermia, could be an indication of partial or complete blockage in the reproductive tract, especially the seminal vesicles. It could also be the result of certain infections such as STDs. High semen volume, also called hyperspermia, can be caused by extended periods of sexual arousal and stimulation, abstinence from sex and masturbation, excess intake of fluids, etc. The normal color of human semen is white to grayish white. Semen color is influenced by diet, age, medication, and certain underlying medical conditions. Red to brownish semen color indicates the presence of blood, a condition called hematospermia. This could be a result of infection in the reproductive tract. Take a strip of either broad range or narrow range pH paper and touch one surface onto the semen sample. Observe the pH paper for color change. A more accurate laboratory pH meter can also be used to determine the pH. Normal semen has a slightly alkaline pH ranging from approximately 7.2 to 8. Acidic semen could be indicative of a blockage in one or both seminal vesicles. High alkaline pH could be a result of infection. Normal semen has a characteristic bleach or musky smell due to the presence of tiny amounts of basic amines like cadaverin, putrescin, spermin, and spermidin. Slight variations to this smell could result from a person's diet including certain medications. The viscosity of semen is determined on a sample that had already been through liquefaction. 
When normal semen is drawn in a narrow tube or dropper and allowed to dispense from the tube by the force of gravity, it flows out of the tube in the form of medium-sized discrete drops without any trailing strands. Abnormally viscous semen, however, flows out of the tube in the form of long and thick viscous strands that are more than 2 cm. This condition is called semen hyperviscosity or SHV and is an indication of inadequate functioning of the prostate or seminal vesicles and also infection. Hyperviscous semen can severely impede sperm motility and can lead to male infertility. Hypoviscous semen or watery semen, on the other hand, could be due to excessive masturbation, ejaculation after an extended period of stimulation, and arousal leading to a low sperm count, and also due to a certain underlying infections, etc.